so welcome back to another tutorial it's just gonna be a quick one this time there really isn't a lot more I can go over that you can't find online but just for my subscribers it might help you out because it's a pretty important piece of map making the sign editor and what good is a map without signs not very good and you're gonna get lost unless you've got an atlas and then you're covered <laughs> anyway so to get in Sorry, yeah, open the editor. I'm sure you know how to do that if you've been following on. If not, go and re-watch the first video. I'll show you how to do that. Once you're in the editor, from the drop-down item type, choose Sign. Press E to open it. And you'll be greeted with the Sign Item Default Properties box. Under Model, click the magnifying glass. Close this little box. And bring the content browser into view. Now go to sign template and under categories choose a country. So let's go. I assume most people have France. Let's go through with Calais 4. So find that in your content browser. Right click and choose edit. And you'll be greeted with the edit template box. Looks a little bit daunting, but don't worry, it's purely one bit of text and saving it four times and then dragging it in to your editor. So we, to begin with, we're going to right click the board, edit board, and you'll and if you can see the elements are outlined in a grey box. So let's say for example we don't want those, we want a clean slate. Control A, delete. And as you can see, no more elements, a nice clean board for us to work on. Now at the top here, you've got text, frames and images. Text, as you can gather, is just plain text. Your frames are the borders, like the black around here. And the images are things like arrows, fuel stations, caravan parks, etc. But for the, this tutorial, and for the sake of simplicity, we're just going to use text. So you click the T icon, and then click the middle of your board. And you'll be greeted with a new text. Now we're using these nodes, drag it out however you like. I'm going to fill it up. And under text properties on the right hand side, you'll have text with new text. This example, just call it test and press enter. And as you can see in the middle, it's now changed to test. You can also change the font color. Let's just keep it black. Now, once you're happy with it, up top file and save as you greet it with this box at the top left you'll have source under your drop down choose user map and in file name it's always best to name it what you've called your board so ours will be test directory should be def sign and board you don't need to worry about moving folders now in 1.40 it's purely saving you don't have to move and edit sii files etc so once you've got your file name done, click save, you'll be greeted with another box. This is our boards box. Delete user map. Keep the boards bit. So it should read boards.test or boards.whatever you've named it. Save again. Click back. Sorry, click after you've done this on the grey area to get your board. Click back. And board ML2 or the bottom one here, it might be different. Under the drop down, you should, if you've done it correctly, see your new board, ours is test. So we quick click that. As you can see, we get our board. Not quite done yet. If I'm going too fast or too slow, let me know. I'm just trying to help people who haven't done it before. Sort of going as semi quickly as I can. But should be easy enough to follow along. Again, save as. This is our template. Again, its source is user map. We're not going to call it Cali 4. If we call it Cali 4 and save it, that's going to overwrite all the um, boards in the game with that board. We don't want that. Call it test or whatever you've named it, like we did before, and save. You'll get a template this time. So if you remember what we did, remove user map. Template.test or template.whatever you've named it. As you can see, we have a board folder and a boards.test SII file. Once you've done that, click save again. 
and back out of this box. Don't need it anymore. Um, under categories, you should see we have no project number. No, you don't. Sorry. I don't know why it does that. Click all. And then in search box, search what you've named it. So mine will be test. And if you've done correctly, you should see it there. Right click, insert to map. Put it anywhere you like. Escape to remove that box. M to move it wherever you like. R to rotate. And then there's your board. And when you've done that, you can just put it, if I move it, <laughs> anywhere you like. So in game, when you're driving down the road, you can see your board. That pretty much covers it for this time. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail about the editor. I've been feeling really grossy the last few days. I've run out of a few medications. They're stuck between the doctor and the pharmacy, and it's awful. But I'm coping, just about. So yeah, hope that helped you. It's a very important part of mapping, but as you can see, it's very, very simple. It's like a riding a bike. Once you've done it once, you'll be able to do it again, hopefully, without watching this video. And you can do it all by yourself. So yeah, good luck, have fun, and looking forward to see what you can create. See you later.